work since before I was born, but I've just started attending youth group. Um, tonight I wanted to share with you my testimony. When I was nine years old, my sister Abby Snyder was diagnosed with T-cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia, which is a type of cancer. She had just turned 15. The first few weeks we were in the hospital were some of the hardest for me, and the most I was alone. Because I was young, I didn't understand what was going on. All I knew is that my sister had a disease that could kill her. The fear I had as a nine-year-old girl cannot be explained. I felt as if I was drowning in my own sadness while everyone else around me was living a perfect, happy life. Not even nine months into my sister's treatment did we find out my then 19-year-old brother, Kelly, had become a full-on heroin addict. I didn't really know or understand what that was at the time. While my brother was off somewhere getting high and my sister was lying in a hospital bed fighting for her life, I began to feel alone. I was the youngest child, yet I felt like I had to be the oldest. I began to doubt that there was a God. I would go and cry in a room by myself and pray to God with all my heart to save both my sister and brother. But I never saw a change and I didn't understand why this was happening to my family. A lot of the time during my sister's treatment, and my brother's addiction, I was staying with my grandma. No one was telling me much about what was going on with my siblings. I was home with my grandma while my parents were in the hospital with Abby and I was so scared. I tried to be with her as much as I could because I thought she was going to die. I couldn't go and have fun with my friends without being scared that she would end up back in the hospital or worse. Anytime other, someone other than my parents or grandma would pick me up from school, my heart would drop thinking something happened to her. Um, waking up every morning scared that the people you love are still going to be there is a feeling that words cannot express. My family almost lost Abby three times during her cancer treatment from horrible effects of chemotherapy. My brother Kelly has, has been struggling for drugs, but right now is clean. He will always have a temptation to that addiction. I watched my brother and can see that once you try drugs, it is hard to stop, and it doesn't matter what kind it is. Drugs tear families apart. I've watched drugs steal my brother. It steals the soul of the person you love. They don't care if they are constantly hurting you. They are no longer the same person. It has taken me a very long time to understand why both cancer and drug addiction happen to our family and at the same time. I had to grow up extremely fast with everything that was going on. I realized that God didn't give us a test. It wasn't his fault it happened. But what I did realize is that I needed him. On the night my sister was diagnosed, my mom told me that she sang the song, I need you, Lord, I need you. Every hour I need you. She sang it repeatedly all night long because she knew she needed the Lord. It doesn't matter if it's addiction, a disease like Karen, like a disease like cancer, your parents' divorce, or even problems with friends. We all hit rock bottom at some point in our lives. It may be now while you're in school, or it may be many, many years from now. But when that day comes and you hit rock bottom, you have one choice, and that is to look up to the Lord and call on his name. There are always days when you are at your lowest, when you want to stop and give up, but you but you know, but if you know God, he will help you through it all. If I were if it were not for my struggles, I would not be who I am today. I would not be standing up here right now telling you my story and knowing without a shadow of doubt that God brought me through it all.